Today we are going to watch what is quite possibly the quickest, fastest shutdown of a sovereign citizen by a judge that we have ever seen. I have covered several very quick shutdowns by judges, but this happens in a matter of seconds. So enjoy this video. Stick around for my commentary. I have a few things to say, uh, particularly about representing yourself. Um, so stick around for the commentary after this video. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, check out my other channel called Joe the Lawyer, where I cover more, uh, let's say, conventional legal topics, whereas this channel is dedicated to sovereign citizens and First Amendment auditors. Okay, before we watch the video, everybody raise your cup, your glass, your drink in the air. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together today. I have coffee, the beverage of the gods. Cheers. Jacob Wilson. Attorney of record, Jacob Wilson, appearing for the person, Jacob Wilson. Okay. What's your date of birth? 11 Charges uh, battery on a law enforcement officer. There's probable cause for the charge. As to that charge, you're going to represent yourself. You're going to hire a private counsel. Would you like the public defender? Do you have me as the attorney of record in this matter? Oh. See, Jacob, all of that <laughs> stuff works wherever you're from, but it doesn't work here. Here, it's my rules. If you want an attorney to represent you, say so. If you don't, that's fine, too. Only a fool would represent themselves. And there you go. I'll appoint the public defender. Any history state? I do not want a public defender. Okay, I won't appoint the public defender. Any history state? Yes, Your Honor. 2022 March adjudication was with the Do you have me as a power of return? No. Be quiet! Matter. I will not be quiet. All right, I'm going to hold you without bond because you won't participate in the first appearance. I'll have you back in court on the 10th of May. Thank you. Sit down. So let's set, set the stage a little bit for what's happening in this video. The judge is doing bond court. I believe this is a judge out of a county in Florida. He's doing bond court where apparently they record all of their courts. I don't know. A lot of these videos come from Florida, though Florida's a little crazy on its own. So he's doing bond court, which is the day when uh, the judge is going to see what's going on with the case, maybe decide if you'll be set free, if you'll get set a monetary bond, just what's going on with these people. They're sitting in the county jail and this guy gets called up and you knew it you knew it right away because the judge calls the case and this guy says uh jacob wilson attorney of record representing jacob wilson so this is a little bit like the individual the individual the settler and the agent okay he's coming up there claiming i am the lawyer for myself and uh, this judge is like, what is going on? Do you have an attorney or you don't have an attorney? He says, oh, only a fool would uh, represent himself. So the judge says, I'm going to appoint an attorney. And then he goes into something about power of attorney, which is definitely some sovereign citizen nonsense because it has no application here. And uh, then he starts arguing with the judge. And uh, the judge the judge tries to shut him down, tell him to be quiet. He says, I won't be quiet. Boom, right there. Triggers essentially contempt of court. The judge decides to hold him for another two weeks. Just an immediate shutdown. Tells this guy, whatever goes on where you're from, it doesn't fly here. The truth of the matter is, it doesn't fly anywhere. Although most judges are not so quick to shut the sovereigns down as this one. One comment on representing yourself. What if you are a lawyer <laughs> facing a crime, something I hope will never happen to me, a lawyer, and you're in court and you're representing yourself? Can you use the introduction that Mr. Wilson used? He said, I'm attorney Jacob Wilson representing Jacob Wilson. Uh, and I think most of you probably know the answer. You can't. You cannot. But you can represent yourself and being an attorney, you will do better than most. Although I still agree that it's best to represent, have someone else represent you. There's just something about having someone else advocate for you. Like when you're, when you have a business, 
uh, and somebody puts a testimonial for how good a business is, it's like when you say, when the business itself comes out and says, oh, I'm a terrific business, da, 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 it doesn't count for nearly as much as it does if somebody else says it. And for some reason, advocacy works that way as well. I guess it's a credibility thing. So it's always good, always get good to get your own attorney, even if you are an attorney. Now you can work with that lawyer and say, I have this idea, that idea, blah, 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 incorporate it into your defense, your strategy. Um, I did one time see a lawyer represent himself in a criminal case and he won the case. The weird thing about it is it changes the structure where the lawyer, uh, the lawyer can't, like he had to testify because he was the defendant in the case. So he had to testify in what's called narrative form where the witness just gets up there and tells the story. Normally that's not allowed in court. Normally you need a an attorney to direct the witness called a direct examination. So one little quirk there of what happens with the with that uh, situation. So um, thank you everybody for tuning in. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer, this is the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and uh, listen to what Mr. Wilson said, and always get an attorney.